Hey everybody, welcome back to Sincerely Legenia. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make Keto Hot Pockets. Do you guys remember a few videos back, I did a review of the Chompy's Low Carb High Protein Dinner Rolls. This is the package right here. Okay, um, I did a review on those. Mm, wasn't too fond of them. They taste a lot like the Chompy's bagels and I was looking for something a little bit different. Wasn't too fond of the taste. And in another video, I also did a review of the Unbun Buns. You guys remember that one? If not, I'm putting links um, here where, the, where you guys can hear or hear, where you guys can go and check those videos out. But I had a couple of you say that you were not very fond of the unbuns, and some of you said that you weren't very fond of the Chompy's low carb dinner rolls. Well, I have figured out a way to repurpose those rolls so that number one, you have not wasted any of your money because these things aren't cheap. And number two, it's another way to make them more delicious. So what we're gonna do with them today is we're gonna make some Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets are convenient and they're a great part of meal prep. If you want something that's just easy and quick to grab and take on the go, then these are great. They freeze really, really well. Just make them ahead of time, put them in the freezer, simply heat them up when you are ready to eat. So anything can be put in these dinner rolls, anything that you like to eat as a sandwich. Today we're going to be making pizza hot pockets and a mesquite turkey and sharp cheddar hot pocket. So stick around and I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna be using both the unbun buns and the Chompy's dinner rolls. If you're new to my channel, oh, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around. Check out this video. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love for you to become a part of the Sincerely Legenia family. You guys, we're gonna dig right in. I hope you enjoy this video. Stick around and watch. So for this Hot Pockets, I'm going to be using this delicious sharp white cheddar cheese that I got from the grocery store. It is so delicious. I absolutely love it. Um, it is a little bit pricier, but and I don't usually get this often, but I thought it would be really nice in this particular Hot Pocket. So I wanted to get it kind of, you know, uh, bump it up a notch is what I'm doing, trying to bump it up a notch. I'm also going to be using this mes Mesquite Smoked Turkey, the Boar's Head brand. I think I have shared this with you guys before. It is so yummy. I love the flavor, that mesquite flavor really just shines through this turkey. So I'm gonna also be using some of this in one of the Hot Pockets. So let's go ahead and get this out. And it's sliced so thin. I think that's another thing I love about it. It's how thinly sliced it is. So I'm just going to get this and let me show you guys how I'm going to slice it. All right, guys. So for the smoked turkey, as you can see, it's sliced really, really thin. I mean, look how thin this is. I love, I love how thin it is. And I'm just going to get it and I'm going to just cut it into some little squares just to make it a little easier to work with. Um, just to make it a little easier to put in the hot pockets. So I'm just gonna slice it down. And because it's so thin, I mean, it's really easy to handle anyway. So one piece is about like this, okay? Really simple, all right? And so these are the slices that we will be including in our turkey hot pocket. Next, guys, I'm going to have a pepperoni hot pocket, a nice pizza hot pocket. And so I got some pepperoni here and I'm just using regular Hormel pepperoni. You can find this in any grocery store. I've seen it in any and every grocery store. So um, that should be really, really easy for you guys to find. And I used about six pepperoni slices for one hot pocket. And so I'm gonna do the same. Um, but one thing that I am gonna do, let me go ahead and do that first. Before I even start slicing, I like to, remove some of the excess grease off of these because they are, pepperoni is so greasy, as you all know. Um, of course, that makes it, that's one thing that makes it so delicious. But if I'm able to eliminate some of the grease off, I definitely want to do that. So I've got my six pieces here and I will usually just put it over a paper towel and just press to get some of that excess grease off because it's unnecessary. It's still delicious and flavorful without all of the excess grease. And um, this right here just helps to get rid of that. So. Just pressing it down like that. And then I'm gonna remove the pepperoni and look at all of that. See, all of that unnecessary grease that um, we just don't have to consume. So why not take it off? And then you're still left with delicious pepperoni just without all the grease. So usually what I'll do with these is I'll just get it and I'll cut it in half just like this. Okay, and that's it. Just makes it easier to place inside of the Hot Pockets when it's time. All right, so we've got that. 
And for the Pizza Hot Pockets, I'm just gonna use some already pre-shredded mozzarella cheese. The sauce that I'm using for my Pizza Hot Pocket is the Rayos Homemade. I'm using the marinara sauce. I'm out of my homemade um, sauce, so I'm gonna be putting the link to that if you want a homemade spaghetti sauce uh, to go in your Hot Pocket. I'm gonna leave the link right here for you to use that. It is a delicious low-carb homemade sauce and it is fabulous. I'm just out, I didn't make any more. So I'm gonna be making some more of that coming up this week. But for now, I'm gonna use the Rayos homemade marinara sauce. It will work just fine. I used it earlier this week and it was delicious. All right guys, for this video, I'm gonna be using two different types of buns. I'm using the Unbun Bun and the Chompy's Dinner Rolls. Now, either one of these will work just fine. Um, so this is just another way to use these rolls if you don't want to eat them by themselves. I'm not fond of just eating the rolls by themselves with just butter or whatever. So this is just another way that I'm able to use these up and um, make sure that the meal that I'm eating is really, really delicious. Okay, so the choppies was really not my favorite. And I think I expressed that to you guys. This, this one tastes just like their bagels to me. So it's really no different. Um, it's not horrible, but it's not my favorite. The unbun is um, pretty good. <clears throat> Um, it tastes a lot like another bread that I make from scratch and this one I do like more by itself I just toast this up and put a little butter on it and it's really it's good to me But this way that I'm getting ready to make it today. It's going to taste even better So for those of you who have maybe purchased these and didn't like either one of them I'm hoping that this recipe will be just another way another way that you're able to utilize these buns without having your money Go to waste. Okay, so let's just dive right on into this recipe video so first thing you're gonna need is get yourself a little small knife. I just have a little paring knife right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the buns over and I'm going to cut a small hole in the bottom of each one of the buns, just like this. Okay, I'm making it like a little, like a little square. And we're not gonna throw this away because we are going to um, use, use this to seal this hole back up, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna pull that out. Just like that, don't throw that away, we're gonna keep that. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go inside and I'm going to take out um, the bread. I'm gonna take out the filling, okay? The actual, the bread itself, we're gonna take it out. Do not throw this away. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. We're gonna utilize every bit of these buns, okay? These were not cheap, okay? They, these buns, you know, they're a little pricey when compared to you know some of the other buns that we buy in the store. So I don't believe in throwing any of this away. I don't want you guys to waste any of your money. So I'm just gonna show you another way to utilize these so that your money, number one, doesn't go to waste, all right? So just go in there and pull out all of the bread that's on the inside. And you know, this just makes, this is just a fun little dish. If you want something a little fun, um, if you want your kids to have uh, a fun little meal, Hot Pockets are always something that, that's just really fun to eat. Sure, you can make your sandwich, but why make you a sandwich when you can have a nice Hot Pocket? Additionally, these freeze really, really well. So once you, um, are done making like a batch of these. Enjoy one now, put the rest in the freezer or in the refrigerator. They store really, really well. And then you can just take them, take them out for lunch and have at it. So we're gonna do the same thing with the unbun bun. Let's go ahead and cut your hole at the bottom. Again, make sure that you save that piece right there because we're gonna use it. We are definitely gonna use it. All right, I'm gonna take that out, put that over to the side, and we're just gonna take out the filling again. All right, and I'm just gonna combine the two because that it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna combine the two, the two rolls there. All right guys, so we have our filling from the bread here. I'm just gonna move it over into this bowl right here because again, I'm just gonna get this, cut it up, and make some nice little croutons to maybe top a salad or something. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is start with the Chompy's dinner roll. The first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of spaghetti sauce in there, and I told you I was using the Rails marinara sauce. Use any one of your favorite low-carb sauces. That would be just fine. And, or you can use the homemade spaghetti sauce that I have in a video, and I put the link in the description box to that. So with the spoon, go ahead and get a little bit of your sauce there, and go ahead and fill that hole like this. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna go in with our pepperoni and mozzarella cheese. I'm going to first add cheese. 
And make sure you are doing this over a plate so that anything that falls, you can catch it. You know, we don't want all that goodness to go to waste. So I'm gonna put about maybe a tablespoon and a half of cheese in here. And I am gonna move that around because I don't want it all in one spot. And then I'm going to fill it with my pepperoni. And I used six slices of pepperoni, again, slice. It's okay if you want, go ahead and put your finger in there, all right? It's your food, it's your family's food. All right, go ahead and put your finger in there to move that around. And make sure you get some on all sides. All right, perfect. All right, so we've got our sauce in there, we've got our mozzarella cheese, and then we've just put our pepperoni in there. Now we're going to fill it again with a little more of our pizza sauce. Okay, got that in there. I'm gonna move it around a little bit. Go ahead and shake it up a little bit. And we're going to lastly add a little bit more of that mozzarella cheese. It's all going in. We're just filling this with some ooey gooey deliciousness, guys. My goodness. All right, got it in there. I've moved it around as much as possible. Now we have that little plug that we had. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna dip it a little bit of it in this sauce, just like so. and I'm going to fill that hole right back up. Okay. Just like that, can't even tell, can you? All right, so that's our pizza roll, nice and ready to go. All right, so we've got our pizza, our pizza pocket right here. I'm just gonna sit that on the baking sheet. Now let's get our mesquite smoked turkey and sharp cheddar cheese pocket ready to go. Okay, remember this is the unbun, so it's a little bit softer than the uh, Chompy's brand there, so. So for this one, we're going to start out with the sharp cheddar cheese. Let's go ahead and add that in there. And we're adding it in first because it really acts, the cheese acts as a really great binder. It gets all gooey and sticky and delicious. And it will help to kind of keep everything together. So we're going to fill that in and go ahead and use your finger and fill that all the way around. So now I'm going to add my mesquite smoked turkey from Boar's Head. thing we're going to add some more of that delicious sharp cheddar cheese all right there we have it and so we have that little piece that we cut out we're just going to put it right back in there and trust me the cheese will kind of help everything to adhere to one another all right so there we go we have our turkey and smoked cheddar hot pocket ready to go so I'm gonna sit both of these on my baking sheet and I'm gonna put these, not in my oven, you can certainly put these in your oven. I'm going to put these in my toaster oven, 350 degrees for approximately five to eight minutes, keeping an eye on it. All right, everybody, our homemade Hot Pockets are ready. So now what we're going to do, the final touch is adding butter to the tops of those, some melted butter, nice and delicious. Go ahead and add it to the tops of these. Now, I would not add butter if I'm gonna be freezing these. I would just go ahead and prepare them and I wouldn't bother to cook them just yet. I would just go ahead and prepare them and just go ahead and put them in the freezer and only put them in the oven or um, the toaster when you're getting ready to cook them and then add your butter. But I would not do that portion beforehand. Let's go ahead and take a taste. Okay guys, let's go ahead and give it a taste now. I'm going to first taste the mesquite smoked turkey and the cheddar one. Mm. 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 Delicious. I absolutely love that boar's head smoked turkey. I'm telling you, my friends, you've got to try that. Okay. Now, that was the unbun. Okay. Now we're trying the chompies with the pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and pizza sauce on the inside, or marinara sauce on the inside of it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. 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 
I love them, guys. All right, guys, these Hot Pockets are delicious. They're a great alternative to just eating the breads by themselves. Again, if you've purchased either one of these or any other type of low-carb bread that you're just not fond of, but you don't want your money to go to waste, this is a perfect way to be able to consume these this with the mesquite smoked turkey and cheddar is delicious. And certainly that one with the mozzarella cheese and pepperoni and pizza sauce. You guys give it a try. Feel these with anything that you like. Even a great Italian type something with salami and some ham, something like that would be so delicious. Guys, just be creative and stuff them and fill them with whatever it is that you love. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today, guys. It is always a pleasure. It is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and a prosperous day. And I'll talk to you in the next video right here on Sincerely, Legenia. Bye for now.